3D Grinch with a Growing Heart Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you this Grinch that has a growing heart with thermal powder. So the heart grows with the, therm with the thermal powder, which is, okay, so when I made this design, I have a love of the Grinch. It's plainly evident. I have so many Grinch tutorials. I should make a separate playlist of just my Grinch, my Grinch videos because there's so many of them because I make at least two a year. So there's a lot of them. I love the Grinch. I can't get enough of it. And I had this idea mid-November and it was one of those designs where I'm like, ha ha, I need to do this because this is like the best idea I've ever had in my life. I am in love with this nail. I can't even explain it. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do and are as completely thrilled by it as I am. It's just Huh, I can't, I just, I love it. So, anyways, I hope you guys like it, and please don't forget to click subscribe, see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with a very shimmery, it's actually kind of, it's a very extremely pale blue, but it's basically a shimmery white acrylic, and I'm just gonna do an overlay over the nail. Like I said, this one, I think it's called, like, Hint of Blue or something is the color, or Hint of Aqua, I don't know. But it's got this, like, blue tone to it, but it's a very icy, icy white. So after I've got that color on there, then I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear acrylic. I'm going to be doing this just to make sure that glitter that's in the nail isn't really going to be harmed by filing, but adding that layer of clear is going to add some strength and just make sure that the nail shape is nice and strong and going to going to be nice and durable for you. That being said, I kind of keep my nails thinner anytime there's any 3D nail art on them because that adds strength as well. So I'm going to be filing my nail into shape using my e-file and I began with a pretty coarse bit just to kind of remove any bulk that was on there and make sure that the sidewalls were nice and clean. And then I'm going to be removing any of the scratches by basically using a really fine buffer bit to just go over the entire nail and make sure the surface texture is very velvety and smooth and easy to sculpt on. So now with a very bright green, I'm going to be sculpting out my Grinch. So I began with his shoulders and just kind of working those down. Usually when you're sculpting something, or when you're working on something, you'd want to work on like his head first because that's the main, um, main attraction. But I needed to make sure that he had enough space on his chest for that little heart device, heart measurement device to be seen and to be able to be fully visible and everything. So I did his chest first just to kind of give it, just to base it off of that so that I knew there was enough space. And I spent about half the nail, or I used about half the nail's length on his body. And then I'm going to be adding the arm that is not holding the measurement device. So just, he's kind of got his arm on his hip like he usually does when he's in his, hmm, pose, like he's thinking about something. And then add the other one, but just to the elbow. So I didn't do it all the way down because that other one is going to be finished later on once the heart measurement device is there for him to hold. Then add his little neck tuft and then add the little tuft of fur on the top of his head. Now there's not much space above his head because most of it is, I mean, it goes right up to the very top of the nail, but do what you can. And then I'm going to be sculpting out the details of his face. Now, usually when you sculpt the Grinch, you want to sculpt him so that his eyes kind of flare out so they start out narrow towards the center or the the indent goes and then kind of goes up and out this is the opposite for him because he's a happy grinch you want it to be a very like almost think of like the mcdonald's m arch for the shape of his eyes for his eye sockets just kind of i don't know i hope that helps but very rounded very rounded shape so then to create his little heart measurement device as far as sculpting it goes i just sculpted a rectangle with gold acrylic the trim on it is uh the frame is gold and so I figured I just sculpt it with gold and then fill in the center thought that would work out pretty well and then I'm going to be adding the arm that's holding it so I'm just gonna take that green acrylic and take it from the elbow that we already created and then bring it over so that it's just resting on the edge of the measurement device Add his little nose with just a touch of more of that green acrylic and then we're ready to paint him so with a very diluted black paint because I want these lines to all remain kind of soft and fuzzy I'm going to be outlining everything starting with I outlined his little neck tuft and then I'm going to go through and I did his arms and then down his body. And then also I'm going to outline his heart measurement device and then fill in the center with black. Now, later after I've done this design, I decided it's probably better to fill in the center of that heart measurement device with white. White would probably give you a better result because the um, thermal pigment did not really want to cover the black. So if you do it with white, you're probably going to have a better a better result with the way the heart measurement device looks. I know in the video, you can't even hardly see the difference in the color of the heart, but in real life, you can see it's either it's big or it's small, but for some reason, it doesn't, the video just does not pick up when the thermal powder is dark and when it's red. So unfortunately, that's 
yeah but anyways it looks pretty cool in real life and then i'm going to be doing all the details and the outlines on his face as you can see his eyes are in that happy oh my goodness i'm i've got feelings now face and adding his smile and then i'm going to take and add the yellow in his eye now i know at this point his eyes are actually like white with blue instead of um, yellow and black and yellow or red but i wanted to keep him kind of iconic grinch so i left him yellow just for that reason and then added the teeny tiny heart in his heart measurement device with red and then his little black pupils just like so and then add yeah just like that it's very easy very simple fun little grinch and then add a couple little polka dots on his cheeks for where his whiskers are and then i'm going to be adding just with a top coat that has a tacky layer, I'm going to be painting a larger heart over the top of the smaller heart. Cure that and then rub in your thermal powder. So as you can see now, it is covering and it looks right now, but then remove excess dust and then apply another layer of the gel top coat. So I ended up doing this three times. So gel top coat, powder, gel top coat, powder, gel top coat, powder. And make sure, like I said, your gel top coat is one that has a tacky layer. I know usually you want one that's no white. This one you want it to be one that has to be wiped off. Then apply that last layer of the gel. And then with black, I just kind of touched up the lines of my heart because it got a little bit abstract after the third coat. And then apply gel sealer over the background. And then gel, um, matte gel top coat over the top of your Grinch and over his heart monitor. And then you can go ahead and you can play around with it in the hot and the cold water. You will actually get to see it if you do this in real life. Especially, I think, if you did the white background, I would probably give that a try. But really, though, I absolutely love this design. I think he's adorable even though he doesn't really show up very well in video i think he's just so much fun and i can't i don't know i hope you guys like it as much as i do and please share any recreations with me on facebook or instagram i'd love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye